Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Shanae Washington, your favorite creative brand strategist, bringing the strategies and tactics that bigger brands are using back to you, broken down for you to execute on. So please hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop. All right, so now that we got all that out the way, today we are talking about a powerful tool used in brand building and it's called Content Pillars. And I want you to know that this is for you if you ever wonder how to keep your brand message clear and consistent while you're trying to expand your content's reach. This is for you if you ever wonder that. So let's dive into what content pillars are, how they can turbocharge your brand growth, and how you can integrate them into your own content strategy. I hope you have a content strategy. All right, so what are content pillars? Content pillars are like core themes or topics that support the larger brand message. I want you to think of them kind of like big rocks that anchor your content strategy. And each pillar represents a fundamental area of knowledge or value that your brand offers. For example, if you run a fitness of coaching business, your pillars might be nutrition, workout routines, and wellness mindset. Content pillars are not like random one-off pieces of content. I want you to think of it more as like strategic themes that guide your creation of various content types, ensuring that everything you publish aligns with your brand's mission and that it appeals to your target audience because you did that research already, right? All right, so here's how content pillars help your brand grow. One, it increases your consistency and your clarity. So by organizing your content around specific pillars, you make sure that your brand's message is consistent across all the, all the platforms. And the clarity helps your audience understand what your brand is about, what you sell, who you serve, and that can really increase like the trust and loyalty that you're trying to build. The next thing is improve SEO visibility. SEO is search engine optimization. You know, everything, all of, all of these platforms are like a search engine and they play into Google, the ultimate search engine. Content pillars allow you to create a lot of focused content around certain keywords, which can improve your SEO and increase your visibility online. Now that's kind of playing the long game. Now more content around these themes means more opportunities to rank in the search engines. So more specifically, I'm gonna go with YouTube on that because that's really how a lot of us are kind of searching nowadays. So anyways, the third thing is streamlining your content creation. So with clear pillars in place, brainstorming and content creation can be a lot more straightforward. I know that's really a pain point that a lot of you have when it comes to building your brand and just marketing all together and just running your business. That is the pain point, not sales, but creating content, which that's a whole nother topic for another time. So anyways, by doing this, you already know what your content is what your topics are so you can kind of quickly decide what type of content to create whether it's a linkedin article a youtube video or tiktok content now the million dollar question is how do you incorporate these pillars into your actual strategy here's how so the first thing is you need to identify your brand's core themes start by defining three to five pillars that capture the essence of your brand and appeal strongly to your target audience. So these should be broad enough to generate different types of subtopics, but it should also be specific enough to remain distinct and focused. The second thing is to plan your content calendar around these pillars. That's another pain point. A lot of y'all, y'all don't know what to post and when to post it. This will help you with that. 
Allocate specific pillars to different days of the week or the month. And this method should help you with a balanced approach, covering all your bases and stuff. And you don't have to be overwhelmed and you don't have to overwhelm your audience with just one topic because you're trying to figure out how to talk about this one topic a thousand different ways. And the last thing is use the pillars to guide all forms of your content. So whether you're doing a blog, whether you're posting on social, creating videos, use these pillars as your guide to figure out what to do. And this approach will make sure that all your content serves your brand strategic goal. So if you're wondering now, okay, girl, you didn't tell me about all these pillars. Give me an example. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Okay, so let's dive a little deeper. So for example, let's say that your industry is nutrition and your pillars could be breaking down meal eating plans, the recipes, dietary trends, and nutrition myths. Same thing with, let's say, workout routines is, is your jam. You can do home exploring, like kind of home workouts, gym routines, challenges. You could put those on for your audience and fitness gear reviews. Those could be your pillars. Or let's say you're more into like the coaching space. So let's say that you do kind of like wellness mindset. One of your pillars could be discussing stress management, motivation strategies, or success stories. Each subtopic should be able to create various content types, such as like how-to guides, infographics, interviews, and all the things associated with it. And the key is to think about what your audience will find most useful and engaging and inspiring for them. What are they searching for in YouTube? What are they searching for in Google? What are they looking for in Pinterest? So those are the things that you should be creating around your topic. Now, let me talk to you about a real life example. So I'm going to talk about Nike because they're one of the easiest ones to talk about and kind of relate everything to. So some of Nike's content pillars are uh, innovation in sports technology, athlete stories, community and social impact, and health and wellness. Now, the cool thing about Nike and other large brands is that their content pillars they don't just drive their social media content, but it also drives their marketing and their image. And they use these pillars in like product launches, of course, their social media campaigns, commercials, magazine ads, and community events that they do. And the biggest thing about Nike is that storytelling is the biggest part of their content strategy. And if you think about it, think about like the Colin Kaepernick endorsement. When you think about, they talk about women in sports and things like that. They talk about the stories behind the athletes. They never talk about the shoes. So I want you to remember that like content pillars, they're not just a tool. They should be an essential part of your brand's content strategy that helps you maintain the focus and enhance your creativity, drive engagement. And as you continue to develop and refine your pillars, they should evolve as you evolve, right? Because we're learning every day. So you need to be in tune with your industry as things are changing, the changes that your audience needs. And I also want to point out that a good brand strategy will help you in developing your content strategy. So if you want to check out my free workbook and do your own brand audit, the link is in the description. So, woo, I said a lot. I said a mouthful. But I want you to always dream forward and never backwards, okay? We dream in this thing forward. We're dreaming your brand forward, okay? So if you like this video, press the like button and drop me your thoughts in the comments. All right, you guys. Until next time.